the overall approach uh, in terms of the process you're going to go through when uh, thinking about and writing your essay. So firstly, read the question and plan. Secondly, uh, a strong introduction. Thirdly, address all parts of the question. And uh, last, the concise conclusion. So let's get started. So firstly, read the question and plan. Um, and I said this in the previous video, but this is a really important part. I would say the most important part, um, which may seem like I'm being overly dramatic, but essentially the section three essay key is having a structured, concise essay that is balanced. And the best way to do this is to plan at the start, a clear structure with counter arguments and arguments, and then clearly think about what you're going to put in your introduction and conclusion. Three question types. So we have uh, explanation of the proposition, we have generation of a counter argument, and we have reconciliation of the two sides. And this is the very sort of uh, floral language that they use, which essentially means, firstly, uh, explain what the statement means. Secondly, um, what is the counter argument? What is the, the opposite viewpoint to the statement? And thirdly, uh, thinking about marrying the two ideas together. We, in support of the proposition, our zeal to make things work better will be our anthem. And so this is one of those uh, situations where the statement itself doesn't really have anything to do with medicine necessarily. It's uh, a bit of a sort of vague statement and therefore it's open to interpretation, which is why um, they're asking you to explain what it means to you and then uh, advance the, uh, an argument against um, the uh, statement. Uh, and then they make it clear by saying, in other words, you're supporting this particular statement. So this is the statement you'd be given. And then the question would say, explain the argument behind this statement. What assumptions does it make? Argue to the contrary that patients are entitled to spend money on better healthcare if they choose to. Um, so this is quite a uh, common sort of, I guess it's ethical, it's slightly political and economic as well, but it's a, a sort of ethical question which can arise in interviews um, and can arise uh, in, in various forms. And so we've given the example here for the essay. Um, and so they're asking you to explain the argument and then uh, think of a counter argument or several counter arguments. And then um, uh, the first thing that they uh, sort of uh, want you to do after explaining it is talk about the assumptions that it makes. And this is quite an important thing to remember. Hopefully you can think about your assumptions based on your critical thinking in uh, section one. So the assumption is essentially something that links the argument to the conclusion. Keep your introduction concise, and we'll talk a bit more about writing the introduction. Uh, secondly, avoid lists, and we'll talk through a framework that can be used to making sure uh, the main body of your essay is sort of uh, well substantiated and fleshed out. And then a balanced conclusion, which I know I've said quite a lot, but I'll talk in a bit more detail about how this can be achieved. So firstly, keep your introduction concise. So uh, you can restate the quote or argument, especially if it helps you to sort of think about it. Uh, you may think about it differently in your head uh, and you can hint to what you will discuss later on in the essay. Uh, you can also define key terms in the introduction um, try and make it sort of uh, quite interesting or uh, grab the attention in, in a certain way. I normally um, try to make the first sentence um, something quite active and powerful, not necessarily over the top, but just something that's going to spark interest and um, also sort of lead on to what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, try not to start your arguments here. So try not to sort of um, start to discuss anything. You can state things and that's absolutely fine, but don't start to flesh out any concepts or arguments. Is it written well? Does it introduce the ideas well? Um, the main arguments, are they well substantiated? Do they follow the uh, Peel formula or peer formula? Um, are they uh, sort of linked together quite nicely? Are they good counter arguments? And are they addressing all aspects of the question? And then is the conclusion a good representative and concise summary of what they've discussed? And then general things like, does it generally flow well? Are they using a, a good sort of tone and level of formality in their language? Um, which is essentially, it shouldn't be casual, but it do doesn't have to be sort of super formal uh, scientific uh, tone. Uh, and also just general sort of uh, spelling, punctuation and grammar.